think if you design a motorcycle properly, you can evolve the design into a variety of segments. And so creating an off-road version of Livewire was a rather natural evolution because we had the bones right. The bike looks right, it feels right when you ride it. First thing, obviously, when you're taking something from a true street bike to off-road is suspension. We knew that with the kind of roads that, that Ewan and Charlie were gonna take these bikes on, that we needed to kind of change the formula. And that's where a lot of our knowledge and development from Pan America came in. So like the front fork and the amount of wheel travel that's from Pan America. We've got kind of laced wheels as opposed to cast aluminum wheels. That was a very unique challenge, especially in the rear wheel, to fit it into the live wire architecture. We had to weld three pieces together. And as we're doing that, we also had to have attachment points and luggage racks to hold the soft bags that we put on these bikes. Getting the bike up off the ground meant providing some protection for the powertrain. That included a belly pan that protected a motor which is underslung, crash bars around the front of the motorcycle to mount lighting on, to mount cameras on. That was a whole other challenge. But the whole bike needed to be very protected. They said, we're going to drop this bike multiple times because of the terrain. So we did quick drop evaluations and added guards that protected the bike, protected anything that could possibly break so they could just get that bike right back up and keep going. We knew we needed to change the riding position, and so we made new risers and, and handlebars specific for the motorcycle. It, it picks them up, it gets it a little bit more kind of shoulder level. The foot pegs are moved so that standing was easier to do on the bike. Of course, we wanted some type of protection from the elements, so there was going to be a windscreen. You need to have bark busters on your hands to protect your hands from debris that you might come in contact with out there in the wild. They had very unique seat requirements on making sure that fit them and was comfortable. We tested it at our Arizona Proving Ground, so out in the desert and going across multiple different types of road surfaces, off-road, on-road, everything else. We also did some shaker tests on it. Most of our testing was of the virtual kind. You know, after the tests in LA, Charlie visited the Product Development Center. We basically showed him kind of a behind the scenes look at, at what makes Harley great from an engineering perspective, and then walked through the myriad of, of tests and challenges, you know, that they had posed to us with respect to the development of the bike. This is super exciting. I'm, I'm really excited. We're kind of creating a new bike here, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it? it's going to be really fun. As a test rider, how did it feel with it being electric? What, what was your I think there's a lot thoughts? of advantages to the electric powertrain in the off-road environment. You're always playing with the clutch all day long, yeah. trying to keep in the power band, trying to keep the engine going. You don't have that issue here. Mm -hmm. So you have that instant torque response from the electric motor. This is uh, one of our special places. Somebody said earlier, where do we go to Zen? <laughs> yeah, this is it. This, yeah. this is it. Hopefully you can already feel or hear that you hear very little. These microphones are set up to simulate going down the road at speed. You guys were so enthusiastic about it and, you know, just threw everything into it. So this is the advanced simulation. Sorry guys, you can't come in. Him seeing the optimism and the excitement on the face of our team, you know, is what really sealed the deal, so to speak, because I think he left incredibly excited and knowing that we were all in and we were going to do this. We just saw an incredible adventure that we all wanted to be a part of, you know, and so we all jumped at the gun to get these bikes created for Charlie and Ewan and then take the trip. Yeah.